Hi, this is your boy Carly Boy and welcome to Bible Reviews with Carly Boy where in this review or in this videos that I'm going to make is that I'm going to review every Bible that I have or every Bible that I could get my hands into and you know try to review it for you and what to expect when when you want to buy that certain Bible. Okay, so God bless you and may the Lord bless us always. And remember that God exists whether you like it or not. Enjoy the video and hopefully you can watch it until the very end. Hi guys, so today we will be reviewing about um, the Expositor Study Bible by Jimmy Swaggart. So I know uh, when it comes to Jimmy Swaggart, there's a bit of controversies, but uh, hey, we will look at it and that's why we need to study or we need to read what's written in this. Or maybe because it's called the Expositor Study Bible, so it like it's like a word for word. It's his um, his exegeting the word in this one. So we will look at it, and I would not advise you to get this one if you are not really, you know, um, an expositor, or if you don't want to be one, or if you're not planning to be one. <laughs> okay. But um, this is Study Bible. We will look what is inside in this and what seems to be the pros and the cons in obtaining this kind of bible so let's switch to the montage first and then we'll go to what's inside <music> Okay, so um, upon opening this, mga kapatid, you will see, of course, the front, which you've seen in the montage earlier. So that is the Expositors Study Bible. And if you look down below, that's Jimmy Swaggart and my legs in it. <laughs> Just kidding. So if you would turn it on the page, so you got a blank page and another blank page in it. And another blank page and another blank page and then you could see this um king james version um the expositor study bible jimmy swaggart presented to you because uh, we got this from a seminar so it has like kind of things in here okay and then oh, there we go so the holy bible containing the old uh testament uh, that's 1611 of course it's king james the expository bible translated out of original tongues when if you want to read that just pause the video Okay, and then there's Jimmy. There is Jimmy Swaggart. And here's come the foreword. Not gonna read that for you. It will be an hour long if you would read this. And then the seven reasons why the Expository Study Bible will help you understand will help your understanding of the Word of God. So this um this King James version, tinanggal nila yung ye has thy thou and everything for us to be able to understand though easily. Comments will follow virtually every scripture given expanded meaning to the passage. So that's what expository means, diba? Clinical meaning of we have, ayan, so ganon. The logical insights and uh, uh, the application presented making the expositor Bible, blah, 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 blah. You got it there if you want to read that again. And then we've got here the books of the New and uh, Old and New Testament. So that's it. Uh, the same thing if you would see a uh, look at your study bibles so, ayan meron mga ganyan the doctorate of the bible here we go this is the best part in this book of genesis so each and every verses mga kapatid is meron siyang uh, exposition so like in the beginning so ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng in the beginning or first to the beginning of creation so may mga ganyan siya and uh, for you to be able to uh, to see this uh, kind of um, verses medyo mahirap lang siyang basahin Kasi why? Uh, in the beginning, so the black one is um, apparently the verse itself. And then yung mga red are the inserts or the expo, uh, the exposition of the writer. Okay, so ganyan, ganyan. So pakang magbabasa ka. Ayan, in the beginning was without form and void and darkness one upon the face of the deep. So, pagtapos nun, oh, ganyan. So, um, ganyan siya. It, the whole Bible is that thing. Sorry, the whole Bible is that way. Hmm. So even if you would go to to some of the books, it's still that way. Gan, ganun na ganun yung Bible. This is the the essence of having an expository Bible. Ayan, oh. So, ayan, sabi. Oh, everyone who thirsts, you come. So, meron siyang explanation on why did that a certain verse is said. 
Okay, until to the end. Until to the book of Revelation. Yan. So, meron siya. Ganun na ganun. And, sabi nung iba, <laughs> yan, ganyan, no? Diba? So, medyo nakakahilo daw basahin. But, hey, it's okay. Nothing to worry about that. As long as you're studying the Word of God. Okay, and introductory to Bible. And then, meron siya dito. This is nakakatawa. I really like pictures. So, meron siyang scripture for salvation. You gotta check that out. And then, this one. Mayroon siyang mapa. Good, di ba? Mayroon siyang mapa. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. Diba? Ayan. Mayroon siyang mga mapa-mapa dyan. Ayan. Let me just switch hands. Ayan. Okay. So, ganun. And then, then that's the end of it. So, that's the real essence. So, let me go ahead and uh, show you the back part. So, ayan. The Expositor Study Bible. If you want to read that one, you could pause the video and ganun siya. So, let me just go ahead and uh, let's go back and let's discuss this particular expositor study Bible. We've seen already what the expositor Bible can uh, can bring or can give us, di ba? Nakita natin na medyo mahirap lang talaga siyang basahin uh, with the verses kasi naka-embed sa kanya yung, ano, yung mga meaning. And this is the thing about expositor Bible. Of course, it depends upon who is expositing the verses. So, for for example, it's gonna be, uh, para sa akin, it's gonna be, some of the verses will be theologically biased when it comes to, ano, when it comes to to the teaching for example kung kung baptist yung nag uh, expose it of course it's gonna be baptist kung reform kung catholic kung whatever that is kung magi magiging theologically biased bias siya in some way okay so yun lang yung ano nito yung yung cons nito and i know jimmy swaggart is not a good uh, and not, not 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 saying that it's not a good but jimmy swaggart had some controversies before so pero we're not gonna look into his person we we'll look at the word of god so i would suggest that you study the word of god for kaya nga uh, this is a study bible it's for you to study the uh, of course to to study the bible pero we want you to or here sabi ko nga before sa mga study bible ko read the bible for yourself first without the footnotes without the without the commentaries read it for yourself first Diba? Para alam mo talaga kung ano yung laman. And then, try to te theologically expand and uh, after mo magbasa nung, ano na, ng Bible. So, this will just help us to understand what's the meaning of something, di ba? Theologically. So, kaya nga siya study Bible eh. Okay? So, um, meaning to say, uh, would I recommend it? I would if you are really deep in the Word of God. I would recommend this. This. This particular study Bible if you are really really deep into the word of God kasi meron to mga theologically bias and uh, for us to be able not to be you know, uh, theologically biased with us so kailangan na kailangan nating mag-aral ng salita ng Panginoon okay so um, I would highly suggest if you wanna get it just for you to read or for you to ponder upon then go ahead and get it so wala namang ano eh, wala namang masama na humoy I got a lot of the, uh, I got a lot of yeah, I got a lot of sorry. I got a lot of study Bibles here in my room. So, uh, of course, we've covered some of them in this uh, in this particular series that I'm doing. Pero yun nga, uh, if you wanna get it, go ahead and get it. I don't know if they still have this in the market. Pero if you could get this, then it's gonna be good. If you could read it also, but again, it's gonna be theologically biased at some point. Pero don't look at that. Uh, look at look at it at, as a way of discerning the truth of the word of god all right so that's my review of the expositors study bible napakaganda nung cover napakaganda nung cover <laughs> napakaganda nung ano napakaganda nung cover niya it's hard bound and talaga namang uh, ano i usually i usually don't use this hindi ko masyado siyang ginagamit hindi ko masyadong binubuksan pero it's good to have it in your library just in case na alam mo yung gusto mong makuha yung yung thoughts ni Jimmy Swaggart when it comes to that uh, to that particular verse or passage that he's talking about kasi nga nakita nyo kanina diba ang kinis-kinis pa <laughs> so uh, hindi ko talaga siya masyadong ginagamit but then um, go ahead and get it for yourself if you want to sabi ko nga so that's it mga kapatid and I hope you enjoy this quick review of what uh, this expositor's study Bible could offer us in our walk in the Christian life. <laughs> so, again, this is your boy Carly Boy reminding you 
and ending with a saying that God exists whether you like it or not. Remember to always do everything for the glory of God and not for the glory of men. God bless you and I'll see you on the next Bible review. So don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Kung nakarating ka sa dulo ng video na to, maraming maraming salamat sa iyong suporta. If you want to support me, then uh, every details is on the description. And thank you so much for everyone who's, who are supporting me morally. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for your encouragement. Uh, we love you all. We love you all with the love of the Lord. Salamat. And may the Lord bless you, guide you, and protect you always. Okay? So, again, uh, please do check out the description. Everything is in there. Na gusto nyo malaman sa akin. My social media accounts and uh, those things that I'm doing. God bless you all. And we'll see you in the next video.